Matt Strom, it is great to see you back with the Padres, back in a big league uniform. Spent the whole season prior to this rehabbing. How's it feel to be back? Yeah, it's uh, something I've missed for a very long time, and uh, I don't enjoy baseball on the couch as much as I do in the bullpen. So, You come back and you have a 1-2-3 inning in your first inning out. How good did it feel to just test that knee out and do that? Yeah, no, uh, very appreciative. Ting got me in there right away. Didn't make me sit around and wait for it. But, uh, you know, just like I said, get the first one out of the way, and now it's just time to focus on winning and going from here. We got to look back a little bit. I, I know, you know, you probably don't want to relive what it yeah. was like, but what do you do during rehab? I mean, do you watch the, all the games? Are you texting with the guys? Are you paying attention? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not so much texting with the guys just because I wouldn't like that so much, like someone nitpicking from a couch or something, um, <laughs> you know. But I'm watching every game. Got yelled at a few times for waking up Ren at home during the game, but uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's. This is my life, so like uh, not not being able to contribute and just having to sit home and watch kind of tore me up. But now I'm here and ready to go. Ren, your newborn, of course, and we're gonna get to her. Mentally, a lot of guys say mentally that that's the hardest part about rehab. But did you find that? I mean, you've been through it before, but did it feel especially so this time? Yeah, this is my third long rehab, so to speak, in pro professional baseball. First one, Tommy John, and then obviously left knee, now right knee. But uh, the mental grind of it all is is definitely the hardest part of the whole thing. Uh, we've worked out and done everything like that our whole entire lives so that's not that's not the hard part the, the part mentally staying locked into doing the same thing over and over for ten and a half months just to get back to to what we want to be doing is that's that's the mental grind of it and uh, you know it's just like I said I'm happy it's behind me and ready to move forward that's the knee that you're putting all the pressure on when you step forward right so how do you feel with it right now yeah I mean that was obviously uh, my stubbornness in the beginning of this was like, you know, I did this with my left knee in seven, eight months. I'll easily be able to do this again in seven, eight months. And it's just not the case because it is, like you said, my land leg loading all that force or absorbing all that force. And, uh, you know, it's it. the biggest part was just the recovery. Like I was totally fine when I would throw, but then I was waking up really sore, really swollen. And so that we just had to kind of wait for that window to pass. There really wasn't anything we could do. Uh, we were strengthening it. Every, all the strengthening was going great. It was just the next day after pitching, I would swell up, and that's kind of what we're what we're battling with now. And uh, you know, it's these last two months are kind of go time, so it's worth battling with right now. Well, and it's go time for the Padres, exactly. I mean, you come back, and it's the most used bullpen in the majors, it tops in the majors as far as how the bullpen's been doing, but so many innings. How do you feel about coming back at this point in the season? Yeah, no, just like I said, eager to help these guys. They've done an unbelievable job this this year. Um, they don't need me, but, you know, I'm, I'm here to help. And, I think uh, they would say different, but. <laughs> <laughs> they've done a great job of it. So, you know, just just fill in wherever I can and eat those, eat those innings to give those guys some breaks whenever they need them. How do you feel about how this team has done so far? I mean, you've been with this team in the past where you guys have not been in this position come August, and now here you are. What do you think about how the team is doing right now? No, I think it's unbelievable. And uh, like just just what, what I've seen build here since being traded over in 2017, it's all just kind of coming together, and it's, uh, it's well worth those, those years 17, 18, and 19 to be able to have, have what we have here and uh, hopefully do what, uh, what we all want to do here in the next couple months. Well, let's talk a little bit about Ren. You and your beautiful wife, Megan, had your baby girl, Ren. And was that maybe a little bit of a silver lining? I mean, you got to spend some time with her in her newborn phase. Yeah, definitely. That was definitely the blessing in disguise of this whole thing. I uh, got a lot of quality time with her and Megan and, uh, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't trade that for anything. But uh, like I said, missed this game and ready to get going. What's fatherhood like? I mean, what is like the biggest surprise about fatherhood? Uh, the fact that no one tells you how what to do you leave <laughs> you leave a hospital with a baby like you leave a store with a TV you have 18 in instruction manuals leave the leave the hospital with a baby they pat you on the back and say good luck so uh, you know every every day is new do you ever lean on any of the guys for advice like as far as what to do or anything uh, I mean we exchange stories and whatnot but uh, I'm very fortunate uh, I married superwoman so she she kind of just tells me what to do and I just nod my head yes we love Megan. Megan yeah. is awesome. All right. You also have been really into the card collecting, and now you kind of have a new show, right? Or yeah. you're, what, tell us yeah. a little bit about this. Yeah, so uh, uh, they reached out to me. They saw that last year I did uh, my YouTube channel called Strom Stadium Pulls, where I was just opening boxes of cards in every stadium we visited. It was kind of my way to bring fans into the game last year when they weren't allowed. And uh, Bally Sports actually reached out and was like, hey, we have this show called The Card Life. We'd love you to host it. And I was like, yo, I get to play baseball for a living, and now I get to open cards. So, like, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I enjoy it. It makes me feel like a kid again. You 
do a great job. You're taking our jobs. But most importantly, we're happy to see you doing your main job back out on the field. But kind of a nice little change up, right? Yeah, no doubt. It's, uh, it's a nice little buffer in between and uh, something to do in every city I go to. Is it harder than you think to kind of host a show? Or are you like, this is cake, this is nothing? Well, the, the hardest part for me is like the lines. I'm, I'm kind of uh, on the just on by the, the cuff. Yeah, I just yeah. go, whatever comes to me goes to me. So when someone instructs me what to say, I usually mess it up a few times, several times, and it takes takes one too many takes. A 90 minute recording turns into two and a half hours, and I'm just like, oh boy. So. I love it, you do a great job. I have a feeling they're just gonna let you say whatever you want. Matt, it's great to have you back, and so glad that you're feeling better. Thank you, appreciate it.